One adjustment that a lot of folks in Lightroom are used to is making radial or graduated filters adjustments. And you can do that on the raw file as well. Now in Luminar, you can only have one instance of raw develop attached to the layer itself. But I can make a new adjustment layer and this gives me the ability to add the filter. Now what we're going to do is attach another instance of the develop filter here. This is similar to the raw develop filter and it's got the same basic controls. Now what we're going to do is pull that down a little bit so it's a little darker at the top and a little bit less here on the black point while popping the whites. And then on that adjustment layer, just click and on the mask brush there, you can select a gradient mask. This will make it easy to click and drag to blend that together. So now we've got a nice blend on that adjustment layer. Clicking on the Rubylith mask there, the eyeball icon, you can really visualize that to get it right and set the transition as needed. Now I'll click done to apply the mask and now it's very easy to make those adjustments. So if I want to lighten or darken the sky, that looks great on that same adjustment layer. I could put a little bit more saturation or vibrance and bring out the top of the sky nicely. Now I am seeing a little bit of noise in those clouds, so let's go ahead and remove that too. I'll type in denoise there and grab that. And let's just punch in on the clouds to see that a little bit better. There we go. And I want to remove some of the noise from the image. So, easy enough. I'll just increase the luminosity there. And it's going to pull the noise out using that adjustment layer. And that really helped keep those clouds nice and clean. All right, let's go ahead and pull back. And you see we've got our overall change. The benefit there with that adjustment layer is you can make a graduated adjustment as needed. And this can really be useful so you can color correct. Let's put a little bit of a slight shift in the hue there. That looks good. And I'm just going to tone down the saturation a little bit. I like that. If you want to make very precise adjustments, you can also apply an HLS adjustment, which can then be targeted. You can also apply an HSL adjustment, which allows you to go after the hue, saturation, and luminosity. So, for example, I can pull down the cyan here a little bit. Let's go after the saturation of the aqua. And you see we can tone that down in the clouds. And that helped remove some of that while bringing up the blue just a little. And I'll brighten up the cyan or aqua tones there. And you see that that just does a nice job of getting that a bit cleaner. So all of these can work hand in hand. And the nice benefit with those adjustment layers is that you can be very targeted on different areas. And with the ability to use a graduated filter, you can actually blend that in quite nicely if you want to go after a particular zone or region. If you decide you want to add a vignette with even more control, just add another adjustment layer. And this time I'll apply an exposure adjustment. And this gives me, and this gives me nice control. I'll pull the overall exposure down and just add a radial mask. And now I can draw whatever type of vignette that I want to keep part of the image in focus, there we go. I love that we've got separate controls here. Let's place that near the boat. Stretch this out a little bit, there we go. And play a bit with the feather and transition. There we go, nice and soft. Click done, and you see that that adjustment is updated, giving us our custom vignette. All right. That gives you an idea on how you can use radial and gradient filters to blend adjustments to give you more control.